Good afternoon, Leiden. Uh, today is Wednesday, March 25th. It's about 1 o'clock p.m. And I just wanted to take a minute and give you a brief update. This will be a pretty short video. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to give you a little more detail uh, regarding the email I sent out late last night around the staff member at Leiden who tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. I was made aware of this late afternoon of course, that's the call you never want to get. And so once we got that phone call, uh, immediately I called the Illinois Department of Public Health, spoke to them for a little bit, but then they directed me to the Cook County Health Department. After a number of transfers, I finally ended up speaking with an uh, epidemiologist for Cook County who helped guide me through the messaging and the steps we needed to take moving forward. The most important thing they shared is that um, they classify people into different categories of risk, low, medium, and high risk. And so, uh, as you saw in my message, they said the vast majority of everyone at Leiden is considered very low risk, having been uh, potentially exposed to someone uh, back on the last day was Friday the 13th of March. And so, for everyone, generally speaking, they said monitor any symptoms you might see over the course of 14 days, and that window closes this Friday on the 27th. For those people we know were in close contact or we think may have been in close contact with the individual, we sent a secondary email uh, classifying those people as medium risk and we asked that uh, those people pay extra special attention. They got some extra documents from the county health department in terms of monitoring and uh, again if we can get to Friday that 14-day window will have passed um, if you are experiencing symptoms of any kind, what they said is to contact your local physician or those who got the medium risk um, email got another document with some contact information to call the county or call IDPH. So I just wanted you to understand the, the timeline of that. Um, we tried to get information out as quickly as we could yesterday just to make people aware. And so that's why kind of a brief version of that came out but uh, I wanted to give you a little more insight into the conversations and the guidance that we were receiving from uh, the healthcare professionals, both at the state level and the county level. Uh, that's all the information I have. Uh, some people have asked about sharing. We're not gonna share individual names or any information beyond. If you didn't get the secondary email, then uh, we don't believe there's any cause for you to be more than just uh, low risk. The second thing I wanted to update you on today is our food service. We actually went over the 3,000 meal mark yesterday. Uh, it was the biggest day of food distribution we've had uh, so far. So over spring break, we are gonna activate some volunteerism. Those of you that have reached out to me specifically, I have sent you an email with a sign up for, uh, we're gonna have two time slots, uh, two slots per day at each high school from eight to noon. And uh, the people that come, you're gonna be helping assemble meals, um, set up bags, place things in the bags, potentially even uh, work in one of the stations to help distribute. And so um, I'm gonna let those folks sign up and then as we need more, I'll put that out generally and it'll be first come, first serve to sign up. Again, no pressure whatsoever. Uh, this is just a way we're trying to support the staff and food service to give them a little bit of a break and to reinforce those ranks as we maintain this pace of, of feeding kids. If you are wanting to volunteer and you have a fever over 100, if you are coughing or showing any other symptoms, if you uh, somebody in your house is sick, if somebody in your house is immunocompromised, we're gonna ask that you not volunteer. Um, just that extra step of precaution, um, but you can watch for that. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna set that up for next week during spring break. The final thing I wanna touch on is we are closing in on the end of the state's Act of God days. That designation will go away on March 30th. And probably the most frequent question I've been getting is what happens after that? What does grading and attendance look like? What does the rest of this year potentially look like? Uh, I, I don't know that answer yet. Today, sometime today, we're supposed to get a guidance document from the Illinois State Board of Education. They're calling these remote instructional days moving forward. I know that attendance will count. I know that grades will count. I think there are gonna be some rules that are given uh, on different age bands. So pre-K through two, we'll get one set of rules. Grades three through five, 
grades uh, six through eight and then high schools will get our own rules. Once we have that, I'll be able to share a lot more information. I can't tell you about the rest of the school year. I'm watching just like you are on the news as some other states announce that their schools are closed for an additional month or until the end of the school year. Uh, Illinois, we're still sitting on the, the governor's current information uh, about uh, April 7th. And so stay tuned. Uh, again, just to recap, uh, I wanted to make sure you had a little more information about the confirmed case we had at Leiden. I want you to know that we are gonna activate some limited volunteerism, two people per building each day over spring break. So you can watch for that opportunity, first come, first serve. And then as soon as we get more information, either myself or Dr. Mandarino will be updating you on, uh, on what that means and how we're gonna interpret and use that at Leiden. Okay, in the meantime, I hope you are enjoying some family time. I hope that you are finding some ways to support your local businesses to help them. Like I said before, the people who work there are the parents of the kids that we serve, um, whether it's the Leiden community or, or any community you live in. So uh, we all need to support each other right now. But uh, I hope you are all well and uh, more information will be coming soon. Thanks everybody, keep up the good work.